Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming. And welcome back to our Let's Play of Monster Hunter World. It's time for us to continue some more of these high rank optional quests. So, uh, we're going to be bow gunning today. Right. I just feel like using a bow gun. I feel like doing some sleep bombing today. So, let's go ahead and pick out a quest here. We are going to be going after Say Cheese. Hunt a Titsuyaku. We've got a disturbing report of an unusually powerful Titsuyaku appearing in the Coral Highlands. Begin your investigation ASAP, but beware its blinding flash attacks. No problem. So we're going to go ahead and hunt down a high rank Titsuyaku here. Uh, yes, accept this quest. Go ahead and grab our food. I finished the delivery quest for our food so we can have a lot of options um, which is always nice it means we can get a good health boost to start out our our high rank quest here a bunch of delicious looking options as we know we still haven't gotten I think to the highest level of a uh, of food platter though But we'll get there eventually. So, uh, we are using, uh, this is the a high end, the high rank beginning version of the Jagras gun. Uh, it's the Jagras Fire 1. It's basically the high rank gun. It has a really good mix of basically every single shot type except for cluster. Um, and then some of the elemental shots it doesn't have a bunch of. But we're not going to use the elemental shots. We are going to be trying to do some sleep bombing. So we've got some bombs with us and everything else. So let's head out on our adventure to the Coral Highlands. Flint is dressed up in his high rank uh, Rathian armor. Because why not? I mean, he looks like a pretty princess. And I think Flint deserves to look like a pretty princess. Alright, we did get dropped off here in the actual camp this time which is handy I do find it strange that in the high rank in this game that they just go ahead and give you um, the the supplies right off the bat even in high rank quests I'm so used to high rank quests having uh, no provisions from previous games you would just have to go and, and maybe get some provisions delivered later, but you needed to carry stuff with you. I'm avoiding picking up the high-level Rathian information, uh, the weird Rathian footprints that we're supposed to fit up for right now, just while we're doing this quest. I don't want to advance that research any farther. But we always need coral bones, so we will always stop at those bone piles. Pass the Shamos here. Somehow I've gotten lost. There's our guy. So we're gonna we're gonna start out by trying to get him to fall asleep. Oh wow, he takes a lot of sleep shots. It doesn't help if you miss. It does not help at all. All right. So there we go. He's gonna go to bed. And we've got some uh, mega barrel bombs here. But we're also going to plant our landmines right next to his head as well. Just get the maximum boomage. Put down our barrel bombs. And then we'll flip over to normal two. Let's show him who's boss. And we've broken his face pretty well. Hit him with everything all at once, which is always good. So we'll slip back to our, uh, we'll go into our crafting list, and we should have enough on us to make two more Mega Barrel Bombs, and we'll slip, oh, well, we'll get our head stomped on. Let's, uh, heal up from that. Woo! Alright, now we'll go back to our sleep ammo. There it is. Hopefully we have enough to get a, a second sleep off on him. We missed a lot of the previous shots. Oh man, I'm getting all kinds of just too close and stuck on stuff to be comfortable. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna be in trouble. 
we're we're doing we're doing dumb stuff here. Heal up, Grug. Come on, man. He hits kind of hard. I did not. Well, I didn't expect to randomly climb that vine. Man, does he hit hard. This is unfortunate. There we go. Alright, let's get a couple more sleep shots into him. He has a couple just odd attacks that are hard to gauge for his uh, guy. Oh, we're out of we're out of sleep. Sleep. Well, that's a sad thing. We may have to go grab some later. Um, not the end of the world. When he goes to bed after we beat him up a little bit more, we'll just uh, use our bombs then. Until then, let's go ahead and get back to our normal life routine here. We'll use some pierce ammo on this fellow. Well, we'll, we'll horribly use pierce ammo. Oh, he's gonna flash. There we go. We might want to switch. Let's try out our slicing ammo. We are not having a lot of luck against this guy. He is just giving us the business. Yeah, this is a pretty poor showing, actually. I will admit. All right, let's get our gun out. Slicing ammo, unfortunately, on this gun is not as good because it does have a huge reload. Why am I just seem to be getting stuck on every type of piece of the environment that you can imagine today? Let's get our sticky ammo out. Maybe we'll have a little more little more luck with that. There we go. Alright, he's running off. Maybe in a different area we'll have more luck? That was just really, really bad. I don't know what else to say. That went, that went really poorly. That was just a really bad gunning on my part. We ran out of sleep ammo. We ran out of basically everything that we wanted. We'll leave our sticky ammo out and we'll get this guy aimed at. I think there's some sleep herb along the way here actually we might be able to grab, but let's go ahead and uh, get him taken care of. I feel like I may have been made overconfident by some of... Oh my goodness gracious! I'm sorry folks, this is... This is almost tempting to... Uh, why do I keep putting my my bow gun away like I'm a blade master. There we go. Wow! Just the the business is what he is giving us. Now let's get a shot here. We'll switch to spread two. And we're probably gonna need to heal again. Wow. Alright. Well, here's what we'll do. We will try some spread action on him here. But again, he has been just the business given us. The only thing I can say. Man, this is doing not a lot of damage from that range. There we go. That was a good shot. Come on, what are you going to do, buddy? Woo! He's going to go for another flash. Oh, we broke his... We broke his flasher, so at least we've done that today. Along with letting him hit us every chance he has. Holy moly. Holy moly. Have we done much to him at all? I don't think so. Yeah, this is just a sad amount of damage that we're doing so far. Look, we're hitting him for onesies and twosies here. I had much more luck with this uh, against the Great Jagras. I guess I didn't realize, of course, that he was... 
as sleep immune as it turns out he is. Do I have any normal three? No. What do I have? We got pierce one, spread one, eh, slicing I guess. This takes so long to load I hate to use it. I will just go back to spread and try and be a little careful. Just try and stay behind him I guess. Or he'll run away. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's let's maybe try to redeem ourselves a tiny bit in this how not to properly not to properly sleep bomb um, episode that we are having. Oh my goodness, folks! I you know what I feel like? I feel definitely like the uh, the Raytheon fight. Uh, I tell you what. I definitely feel that way. Uh, let's see, do we have any more uh, Devil's Blight? Yeah, we don't need a huge amount. Alright, let's get back out here. Alright, come on, Titsy Itchy. Time to get some revenge. Well, as close to revenge as we can. There he is. Listen, buddy. Oh, okay. He decided to run away right away. Not bad. Ha! He couldn't, he couldn't quite figure out that ledge, it would appear. Oh, the deviation on this gun is so terrible. Combined with my terrible aim, it does not work out well. Alright, there he is. By now, we've probably lost most of the sleep status that we built up previously because of the time. There we go. Alright. Same thing we did before. We are going to bombs. We are going to barrel bomb. And... Here we go. There we go. Good, massive damage. He should be in just about in limping territory. He doesn't. He's either looking sideways because we broke him, or he doesn't know where we are. Oh no! He he sees us. The high rank version of him moves so much more than the low rank version. He's actually rather challenging to figure out where you're moving. Uh oh. Uh, Palomumu, the giant furry bat, has arrived. And that's not a fight I want to be dealing with. Uh, we'll let them kind of do their thing to each other here for a minute. And I think if we do this right. We might be able to just kind of tag a few hits. Oh, he's running away. Well, at least we got the one hit. Even though it wasn't on his face where it really needs to, to happen to be worth it. There he went. Alright, looks like we have a uh, Tail Raider here. So if we can get a mount off... It'll actually be pretty good. There we go. So we'll get a mount off here. And we'll see if we can't get the... There's the Tail Raiders. There they go. No. Don't use the Slinger Pod. Run. Reload here. Maybe we can get a KO on him. Get a couple of hits on his head with these. And if we get a KO. Yep, we got the KO. No, just the knockdown. We'll go ahead and chuck some slicing ammo in his face. They did recently um, 
they did recently just change slicing ammo. It's not as powerful as it used to be, unfortunately, but it's still quite a good ammo. Oh! He is running away. He has taken about as much damage as he can. Let's chase him down here and finish off this quest gone awry. Uh, in fact, why don't we just finish this off this way. Put down a trap. And let's do a capture instead of a kill. Put him in the bag. Finish up the quest. Folks, that was high rank TCE. Maybe maybe not the best to fight against. This bow gun again, great for all the statuses. It also uh, has the ability to use the other shot types as well. In a group, not bad. But on your own, it doesn't seem to have the damage output that you really need for a bow gun. So we'll go ahead and collect our our winnings from that quest. But again, it looks like the big problem with uh, the Titsuichi has got to be... Ooh, new arena quest. Oh, for him. Um, the big thing with him is he has faster attacks and he gets right up on you, unlike the other one. The other one we were able to just give the beat down to. Well, that troublemaker is going to make so even folks, more trouble if we don't get That's going to wrap up this horrible episode of Gaming with Grug. I'm going to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, we hope to see you soon.